Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are tuning in. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Chris Luard, and I'm happy to introduce you to the next online retreat that I'll be offering. Uh, this is a retreat on loving kindness practice, or metta. Metta is a Sanskrit word or a Pali word which translates to loving kindness. Now, I've just wrapped up my last online retreat. That was uh, Such Sweet Thunder, which is a mindfulness program which I designed and written a book on. Uh, and you can find out more information about Such Sweet Thunder at my website, suchsweetthunder.org. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning that is that the retreat was a, a pretty great success. Uh, so as a result of that, I felt encouraged uh, to design the next online retreat. Now this is a loving kindness retreat and this will be offered January 3rd to February 4th. Whoops, we have some pop-ups happening here. Okay, excuse that. So I'm just going to go through the presentation here which I've designed, a few slides here, as a way of introducing you to the retreat, the practices that we'll be doing on the retreat, and as a way of mentioning and outlining some of the benefits you might receive uh, by signing up and embarking on such a journey uh, of loving kindness. So firstly, I want to mention that uh, the retreat is offered in 90-minute sessions over Zoom format, and this will be on Sunday evenings and Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. Pacific Coast time which is 9 p.m. East Coast time, and that's all of the United States, or and 9 a.m. in Thailand on Mondays and Fridays. So please do adjust your time schedule accordingly. If you're not in any of those time zones, make the necessary adjustments uh, so that you're signing up for a retreat uh, so that you can make the times appropriately for you. Make that very important there. Now, as I mentioned, uh, this retreat will be offered over the Zoom format, which is a really great format for this type of offering. Uh, the participants will be able to connect with each other and, as well as myself, and that's uh, something I've found to be quite beneficial, that we can have these open discussions. Also, a great benefit is that uh, the Zoom offerings can be recorded. So if you're hesitant about signing up for the retreat due to schedule conflicts, maybe there's a couple of uh, episodes or sessions, I should say, uh, that you might not be able to make, uh, don't worry and sign up uh, for the retreat at any rate because uh, you'll be able to catch up over uh, uh, the recordings. And then if you have any questions about what you've experienced uh, or witnessed or uh, taken in from the Zoom recording, uh, you can always email me or message me. I'll be uh, on call for that all of the time throughout the retreat. So don't uh, allow a schedule conflict or two to keep you from signing up for the retreat. They will be recorded. And now the Zoom recordings will be available only to the retreat participants only. And this is quite important, I've noticed. Uh, it helps keep the container of the retreat, first of all. It keeps the integrity uh, so that people who haven't signed up for the retreat can't uh, crash the course, so to speak. Also, because the uh, Q&A and discussion uh, will be recorded, um, this helps to keep the confidentiality. Uh, so people can feel comfortable expressing themselves, expressing any emotions that might have arise uh, due to the loving kindness practice, because we will be in agreement throughout the community, throughout the retreat, uh, that nothing will be shared outside of the retreat uh, framework. Very important. Uh, so know that uh, what you share, what you express will be confidential and uh, also to know that you can have access to any of the recordings, uh, not only during the retreat, actually, you can access the recordings uh, for the rest of your life. Uh, so that will, that will be there for you as kind of a library, a resource to draw from. 
Now, about the practice of loving kindness itself. So I won't go too much into the instructions today. Uh, I actually have quite a few videos on loving kindness practice on the website or on YouTube. So feel free, uh, also on Instagram and Facebook. So uh, feel free to access that if you're curious. But just to kind of touch on it, uh, what we will do in the guided meditation portion of uh, each Zoom session is I will be offering a guided meditation on loving kindness. And we start with ourself, loving kindness to ourself, and we offer these meta phrases to our own heart. And when we bring the phrase into our own heart, you can just do this briefly along with me now. We offer, may I be happy, as if we were offering ourselves a very precious, rare gift. And then we're asked to visualize or imagine what our life would look and feel like if we were completely 100% happy all of the time. And so generally what starts to reveal itself is resistance to that. And so we use these phrases, we offer them into our own heart as a way of bringing up our resistances to loving kindness so that we can feel them, acknowledge them, investigate them, and then let them go. And so in the light of awareness, we allow our resistances to be revealed. And in that warmth of awareness, the resistance starts to dissolve and loving kindness becomes more available to us in our day-to-day, -day, everyday life experience. And so that's how the practice works and that's what we'll be doing over the five weeks of the retreat. So I've written the phrases here that we'll be using. Uh, they're very detailed meta phrases. They're not the generic stock loving kindness phrases. Uh, and the reason for the detail is so that because our resistances can be quite varied. And so the detail allows us to experience those resistances from different perspective uh, and in different shapes and forms and so forth. So we really get deep into uh, how our resistances are, are formed and how we can let them go. So I mentioned lo loving kindness for ourselves, and that's where we'll start. The first week we start with loving kindness for ourselves, then loving kindness for loved ones, people we love, our family members, our friends, and so forth. Uh, then loving kindness to people we don't know or people that there's no strong attraction or aversion towards. Uh, then to challenging people, and some teachers, they, they offer that as a, uh, loving kindness to a perceived enemy. We can just use challenging people. Uh, and then to the entire world. Now, the way I'll be offering it in the retreat is kind of in two streams. And you can switch back and forth from stream to stream. That's fine. Uh, and I've listed it here, internal and external. Well, when we do loving kindness for ourselves, it's really only us there. It's all internal. But when we start offering it to loved ones, family and friends and so forth, we can offer it actually visually or visualizing offering these phrases to a loved one or offering it to aspects of ourself that we love. Then we move on to the next week. We offer the meta phrases to people we don't know or aspects or people rather that we have no attraction or aversion towards and or aspects to ourself that we're neutral towards. Same thing with challenging people, actually literally offering loving kindness to people we don't like very much or offering loving kindness to aspects of ourself that we don't like very much. And then when we move into loving kindness for the entire world, uh, literally 
bringing loving kindness to the entire world and or offering loving kindness to our entire self, our emotional self and our physical body, all of the cells in our body, all of the different aspects of our personality and so forth. So there's two streams and, and again, you can mix and match dance between those two streams throughout the entire five week offering. So some of the benefits, why should one sign up for this retreat? Well, loving kindness practice cultivates a certain type of resilience and strength. And that's really quite important, particularly when there's trauma or healing to be done. Uh, we draw on resilience when that type of healing uh, is called for. And I've noticed that this has been of great benefit for myself in the past year. It's been such a, uh, it's such a year, <laughs> 2020, uh, that uh, I found resilience to be quite um, useful and necessary. And uh, so one of the reasons why I'm offering this retreat is I'm hoping that this same resilience that I've received benefit from uh, can also help all of you. Also, loving kindness practice cultivates a type of self-care and compassion. Again, a very, uh, very useful modality of healing, self-care and compassion. And then we also, throughout the, the retreat offering, will be widening our circle of care and compassion to include, well, eventually include the entire world. So it, it's really this, healing process, healing the wounds uh, between ourself and loved ones, people we don't know, people we don't like very much, and then to the entire world. So really expanding our circle of care and compassion to include everyone. We will also walk away from this retreat offering with a very deep understanding of loving kindness practice. Very, very few people walk away from a five-week retreat offering mastering whatever the offering was, whether it be loving kindness or insight or, or compassion. However, one does walk away with the tools needed to continue uh, this type of practice for a lifetime. And so that's a, a really wonderful thing to have in your toolbox, a really deep understanding of loving kindness practice, how to do it, how, how to continue cultivating loving kindness throughout your entire life. Another one of the great benefits is that access to loving kindness, that day-to-day -day access, whether uh, somebody holds the door open for you at the grocery store or a stranger smiles at you on the street. Uh, you'll be able to uh, experience the warmth uh, that is generally offered to us uh, in day-to-day -day experiences in minute ways. But generally, uh, we're either too shielded from that or just too busy uh, in our mind and our activities of the day to notice it and to accept it and to have access to it. Uh, loving kindness practice allows us to slow down and to really recognize our resistances to loving kindness, what's keeping that experience out, and also to recognize loving kindness and allow it more access into our own heart. So those are just some of the few benefits. There are many, many benefits to loving kindness practice, but those are the ones that I really wanted to mention here today. Uh, you'll actually have to sign up and do the retreat uh, to receive these benefits and to find out about the other benefits that I'm keeping in my back pocket. <laughs> so the bottom line, how much does it cost? The fee is $99 US. Uh, to sign up for this five-week offering. Uh, it runs again from January 3rd to February 4th. Uh, you get two 90-minute uh, Zoom sessions a week. 
Uh, plus, you'll have uh, access to me all of the time. So if things come up for you throughout the week uh, as a result of this practice or any meditation practice for that matter, uh, you can email me and ask me those questions. Uh, that's no problem. Uh, my email address is right here on the slide, chrisluard at yahoo.com. Also, my website again, www.suchsweetthunder.org. Uh, so feel free uh, to find out more about the retreat or more about me and my offerings at the website. Now, if you're ready to sign up for the retreat, you can do that by emailing me through the website. You can also email me here at yahoo.com. Message me through Facebook, that's fine as well. Um, yeah, that's all my contact information. I think that's all the information you'll need to get started. If you have any questions, if you're still on the fence about signing up for the retreat, also you can send those questions over to me. I'm happy to have a chat with you about that uh, if I've missed anything, any details. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Thanks again for joining me for this uh, very short presentation on Loving Kindness Retreat. Hope to see you there. Thank you.